In this country we say football, some countries they say soccer. We insist on saying football in England. Um, we insist on it because it matters to get it right and it matters because football matters. And why football matters is a question we very rarely ask ourselves, except sometimes when it's been a particularly grim game and we're standing there and nothing's going to happen and we're, our team is losing and it's raining and we spend a lot of money on it and there's something on television that we'd like to have seen and we're getting older and everybody's getting older and no one's getting any richer. And we stand there and we say to each other, why do we do this? And we don't have a ready answer to that question. Why do we do this? But we have at least asked it. And though we ask it in a particularly self-deprecating and unserious manner, sometimes when we have a lot of time to spare and after the game and when the evening is stretching out ahead of us and we are going to have too much to drink if we haven't had it already, we ask ourselves, why do we do this? And the only answer I can really come to is that football means something. It represents something. It has a symbolic value. It's a melodrama. It's not a complicated drama. It has very little by way of developing its characters. Its characters are stock characters. The big rich team, the small battling local side, us, them. It's things that we're familiar with, things that don't have to be explained, much in the same way that soap opera characters are very often stereotypes, are not always developed too clearly are always imagined, at least at the start, to represent a few simple values. And this melodrama interests us because it reflects things that do appeal to us in our real lives. We like to see the big team beaten by the small team because the same reason that we always like to see the underdog succeed in a film. You never have a film where the enormous, powerful, big army come and crush a few brave freedom fighters and we support the army. Because, of course, you don't. You always have the few small brave people manage to, by dint of their own moral rectitude and their own personal brilliance, defeat the larger force. And so you like to see the underdog win. And that's because you either are used to being the underdog, you either are used to being the small person with not much money, not much power, confronting forces bigger than yourself and hostile to yourself, or you like to pretend you are. Even the rich pretend that they're the common man. And so even the rich can see what the point of supporting some other team that's playing Manchester United is. And because football is such an easily comprehensible melodrama, it translates those quite complicated feelings of having to fight against larger forces into a very simple template. Manchester United versus Leicester City. Oxford United versus Chelsea, Cheltenham Town against Liverpool. And that is its main symbolic value. It is how we identify with a force that is going to take on hostile, superior forces, and very occasionally it will win. But the real symbolic value is, usually it doesn't. And usually reality asserts itself, and usually our team doesn't win. And usually our team will carry on not winning. And usually while it carries on not winning, we will carry on having our money separated from us, carry on having promises made to us, carry on believing all these promises because we have nowhere else to go. And symbolically, football will replicate the reality that we're trying to get away from, which is we have no power and they know it and they like to take advantage of it. <laughs>